My daughter, Diana Marie Showman, was uh, shot August 14th, 2014, and uh, she had mental health issues. Uh, and I'm uh, part of a group of uh, families who, the last thing in, in the world we'd like to do is be here, but it's a family that is growing far too often because of a, a new thing that we now have an acronym, OIS, Officer Involved Shooting. It's happening way too often. It uh, affects us. Um, we're, we're in pain. We are, uh, you know, deal with it daily. The day they killed Antonio, they took my son's father away. They took my son's innocent away. They took my son's sense of safety. It's been over four years and I still have no answers. You can't make policies with the people who are doing the harm. You need to include the community that's impacted because we know what it feels like. He was shot in the back of the head. I don't see how that's justified. Unarmed, and there was excessive force after the fact. We are in crisis. This isn't your family that's in crisis, it's ours. We got three babies that we have to tell that their dad's not here. And they are part of this community. How are they gonna grow up not trusting the police department? Not one more life should have to go through this. Not one more family should have to be like this. Three babies under the age of seven with no father. And how are they supposed to grow up in this city that we've all been a part of for over 50 years, 60 years? My son, Philip Watkins, was shot and killed on February 11th, 2015. He was having a mental crisis. He was shot 10 times while his two and a half year old daughter was sitting in the car. You're telling his daughter, who is now gonna be six, that her life, it doesn't matter that she had, she turned three without her daddy there. She turned four. She started kindergarten without her daddy. When she gets married, when she has her first date, when she goes on a prom, when she starts to like boys, anything, her daddy won't be there. Why? Because we are not worth 40 hours a year. So you could imagine your loved one is killed by someone on the street and you have the police there to say, you know what, we're gonna find that killer, we're gonna help you, we're gonna be there to give you justice. When it's the police department, you have nobody to help you, nobody. When my father died, the only people that came out was Silicon Valley debug. And they said, we're gonna help you and we're gonna figure it out. It's been 14 years. I still struggle with anxiety, um, like if I'm around a lot of cops, because I was treated really poorly. I was in interrogated. They wouldn't tell me my father died. They said, if you wanna find out, come to the police station. Threw me into an interrogation room. First thing they did was try to prove that my father had mental health issues to justify the shooting. My son was murdered on August 10, 2015, despite what you guys put out on the press release. They said he committed suicide. I was a witness, so I'll remind everybody politely you weren't there. I begged, and I still beg, for an investigation, and I'm constantly told that this doesn't exist. But my baby's blood is still all over my screen door. They shot him right up in front of me, his 11-year-old brother at the time, and his, and his sister. There are several witnesses. And I'm gonna tell you, I don't personally wipe off my son's blood because that's silencing his truth. I took it upon myself to get forensics. I decided to have my, cam my digital uh, camera forensically analyzed. Footage was removed. Nobody here is safe. And for everyone to look at me and look at all these families out here and do absolutely nothing, when the truth speaks for itself, you guys are all murderers. My son was not only murdered by the police, but he was murdered by all of you, and I'm being murdered every single day. He was only 18 years old. Two calls were made for help, and instead of helping my son, they shot him and they killed him in front of our home where he should have been safe. What kind of officers do we have running our streets? 
These officers gave each other a high five. How do you think that makes us feel? He was only 18 years old. He had his whole life ahead of him. He needed help. And he was gunned down like a dog in front of our home for the whole neighborhood to see. He was killed at 5.51 p.m. and was left, his body was left in front of my house till two in the morning. Why? Why? So all our neighbors could see him out there in front of our home. There's video camera that shows my son's body in front of our home till two in the morning. I wasn't here to save him. You were supposed to serve and protect. You took an oath. Why take a life? Why was that the first response? Why not use every other tactic that you guys train your officers to use? Why deadly force? He didn't have a weapon. He didn't have anything. He needed help. And instead of helping him, they gunned him down. They killed him. And I had three kids, and he was my youngest. He was my baby. You know how hard it is to see all these graduations, all these things that are going on, and I can't be there. I can't celebrate that. I had to take my son's diploma to the grave where he's buried. It's so hard. It's so hard for our families. Please make change. Talk to us. Find out about our families. Talk to us so you can know.